thank you for tuning in. Thank you for the for watching, for subscribing, for sharing. I'm glad that today we are going to share again, and I'm happy. And uh, people have been asking me, "Are you a pastor? Are you a minister? Who are you?" I'm not a pastor. I'm just but a normal believer. And in this YouTube channel, I'm just talking about the the life of a believer, the challenges, the up and downs. And I just wanted us uh, as believers to encourage each other. I know there are those that we hear from pastor, and this one is a uh, you see the real experience as a believer, uh, as a person that is not a pastor through the word of God, the challenges, the things we go through, and this is what I wanted to share. And uh, I don't say that I'm that good in the theology story, but uh, normal life. So maybe you just share your comments also, you see how we encourage each other in this salvation, in this work of salvation. And um, last week I, I, I had a challenge as a believer. I've been trusting God for some for something, and um, uh, I, I I just asked myself, what happened if the God doesn't answer? Is it a must that God answer us when we pray? And if He doesn't answer, that does it mean He's a failure? As a um, a senior believer, and you have maybe some younger believers and you are mentoring these people and you are telling them God is faithful, God cannot fail you and you believe together, maybe you pray together and you tell them, I know God is going to do this then something happened that it doesn't happen that the way you people have prayed in such a scenario, what do you do? Has God failed? Does God fail? And uh, as I was thinking, I was asking myself now what am I going to tell these people? I've told them God is faithful, God is going to answer you. And it happened that it's not, it did not happen the way we wanted. And as I was asking the question and so many things, God gave me a verse and he told me, He's too faithful to fail. He can never fail us, no matter what. He's still God. And he does it at his perfect time. He said that a thousand, a thousand days is like one day before him. So we cannot squeeze God to answer us in the time that he wants. Maybe uh, we had not matured enough to receive that kind of blessing that we are praying for, or it was not the perfect place, not the perfect time for us to receive that kind of, of blessing that we are praying for. And and as I was thinking, God just encouraged me, I'm still God. He said, he told Moses, I am that I am, I am that I am, meaning that he is that what uh, you want him to be. If you want him to be a provider, he's a provider. If you want him to be a healer in your life, he's still a healer. If you want him to be a lifter, he's still the God that can lift you from, from the ground and make you sit through the kings. Whatever you want God you to be, if you want him to be that mighty man of war, because he's the mighty man of war, he can fight for you those battles that you're facing right now. So, still God, and uh, I know, <laughs> Uh, in, in, in that challenge that I was, I was going through, I was trusting God maybe for a certain money. And uh, when that day came, I was walking on the road and I was looking, how is God going to bless me? Is he going to drop money from heaven? And as I walk, I didn't find anything. You look around the seats anywhere. Yeah, when I get this thing, it doesn't happen. You try and think, who is the rich uncle that you can call to, to, to help you at that particular time. You find there's no that rich uncle. You're looking for your friends, somebody, everybody that you think maybe can help you at that particular time. It was not working. And I was asking God, who? Is there anybody with my money that I can call and maybe just bless me? I know. We be real Christian at times we go through that and you just wish that maybe something can drop from heaven and come to you. But God doesn't work like that. If, uh, uh, as, as me in this work of salvation, there's one thing I've come to learn. Blessings of God does, does not just happen like that. God is a God of process. He has to take you through one process to another. You have to mature for that 
blessing that you are asking him you must be uh, i think god has to trust you first before he give you that blessing that you are asking as in if you are asking for a car are you ready for that are you ready for that car if do you have a place that you're going to park that car if i god i got the asking if i give you a car where are you going to park that car or well, now when you are get get the car that you're thinking maybe i need to shift somewhere that we have the parking and we have the driving lenses do you have the confidence to go to the road or i'll give you and you start you park it there you start looking for someone to help you drive it is a process you have to go to school you make sure that i have the driving lenses uh, if i get this car this way i'm planning if god as in god everything is a process before god and most of us as christian we we, we want um, blessings i don't know we call them popcorn blessings they that you just receive pa 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 and you are ready but uh every day and every now i i thank god yesterday we were sharing in my house and uh, after what the scenario that i wanted the money the, this amount i didn't get and uh, i felt like i was down and i was the one to give the word i did I, I told somebody that i'm not going to give the word today you do this and you told me you are the one who's going to pick and ask god what I, what am i going to share in this thing because maybe people are trusting god gave me a word of uh, the word of uh, where jesus fed uh was it five five thousand people with two two fish and five loaves of bread and what i learned in that what jesus did jesus didn't complain he would have asked the boy these are five thousand people why are you giving me two fish and five people uh, five loaves but he chose to give thanks in that small that he had why am i complaining that maybe i wanted fifty thousand and i have like ten thousand why can't i give thanks with this ten thousand this small that i have and see if god will supply if god will increase whatever we have most of the time we 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 complain god has blessed us but most of the time we we we, we over i don't know we can't say don't oversee it you don't want to you just want what we wanted i want that big house you don't want to small in that you want you don't want to start with that small house i want to mash on it even those that have a machine maybe they started with a, a smaller house it's a process give thanks in that small that you have the fact that you have a roof on your head the fact that you have food on the table it might not be that chicken it might not be that fish that you wanted maybe it's just uh, ugali with the normal skooma give thanks for that ugali skooma and god is going to supply if you if he's if you are grateful with the small that you have God is able even to bless you with more because you know even if I give if I bless mercy if I bless you and so he's going to give thanks and be blessed even in this uh, even the, this time the economy in Kenya is high the corona thing and people still and I, I, I was talking with one of my friends was telling me I see life is hard here so and so this is this and that is happening instead of us complaining instead of us looking whatever is happening around us why can't we just give god thanks Tell god the fact that i'm alive i give you the glory the fact that i can still breathe i can still walk i can i still have strength i thank you because i know you still have a purpose for me the reason i'm still alive is because god still have a purpose for us and if we give thanks everything will turn around we could stop complaining about the rising the, the fuel right the prices rising and the tough time that we are putting in. let us give thanks in this hard season and see god turning things around around for us i hope you're blessed be blessed thank you i love you see you next time